when I made AI powered TCO comparison episode of EV versus ICE car, I was thinking, what if the private home owner or the independent house uh, owner sells his or her uh, petrol car and goes for an EV? Does it make sense? Do they really save money? We're going to find out exactly that aspect in today's episode. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Green and Green YouTube channel. My name is Victor. I'm touching upon a very sensitive topic of selling an existing ICE car and going for an EV and that may not be looked, uh, that may not be welcomed by uh, some of you. Uh, I understand that. Uh, also, off late, I see some comments in the channel where people say that I'm doing this channel just to defend my purchase and trying to propagate EV usage, etc, etc. Well, uh, I have no stakes in any of the EV related things. I'm just doing it as I've told many times before. I'm just doing these uh, episodes and this channel so that it helps people who are sitting on the edge or sitting on the fence whether to go for an EV or not. And I don't have to defend my purchase or uh, sing only praises about EVs. I've also talked a few of the issues about EVs. So all I wanted to say is I'm trying to be as neutral as possible. And if even with that mindset, if I lean more and more towards EV, then you know where it, where it is going. And at the risk of uh, being called as fear mongering using this channel. I, I let me say that uh, E27 is going to come soon, the ethanol 27% blending. So all the cars that are E20 compliant today, good luck uh, running those with the E27 petrol sometime in the future. So all I'm trying to say is that there is a great deal of risk of running petrol or diesel cars in petrol. It's ethanol and in diesel, it's uh, DPF and urea and, and whatnot. So there's going to be more and more risk of driving petrol and diesel cars in the future and that's why it may be a time now to see if you can make a switch to EV and the intention of this episode is just to show you what happens uh, financially if you switch from uh, ICE to EV. For the reasons like less pollution, no pollution and uh, better uh, ride quality, more torque, these are the reasons one should simply go for EV. But People always have a money in mind whether EVs are cheaper to operate or not, especially when the upfront cost of EVs are uh, so high. So the intention of making this episode is just to see even uh, the financial aspect of owning an EV makes sense for you or not. I have prepared an Excel sheet for uh, today's uh, episode. So you can see various columns here, uh, rows, rows and columns. Let me explain one by one. So the first uh, parameter here is the daily running. So I'm assuming 50 kilometers of daily running for uh, for the user, and the long drive per year is about 2,000 kilometers worth of long drive in an year. I'm considering an inflation rate of 5%, which means 0 0.05 for this calculation. And then there are a bunch of parameters for ICE versus EV. So I'm considering car cost as 15 lakh, uh, and then the EV car cost, uh, the equivalent EV car cost as uh, 20 lakhs. Fuel economy, uh, 15 kilometers per liter, even though, uh, as I said in the previous episode, this is very difficult to achieve the average fuel eco economy for the entire uh, month. Uh, 15 kilometers per liter is very, very high, but I will just consider 15 kilometers per liter. And then the fuel economy of EV car is like uh, 6 kilometers per kilowatt hour. And then the fuel price, petrol price, I'm considering 102 rupees. EV, I'm considering zero because there is something called as solar here, cost of solar, installing solar panel. I'm considering 2 lakh 50,000 rupees for a 3 kilowatt hour, a 3 kilowatt of um, a solar uh, installation. And then uh, the car resale value, uh, I'm considering 4 lakh for both ICE and EV. Even though I feel that in 10 years time from now, uh, an EV car will have a better resale value, probably a, hi a higher resale value uh, than an ICE car. But just considering today's uh, scenario for a 15 lakh car, I'm considering resale value as 4 lakh after 10 years. And for a 20 lakh rupees car, I'm considering the same 4 lakh. Uh, so I'm not keeping it higher for the EV car. Uh, the cost of, cost of sol solar, I've already mentioned. So there's no cost of solar if you are uh, going for ice only uh, option and for EV it is 2,50,000. Uh, maintenance of the car per year is 7,000 rupees for ice and yeah, for EV it is 4,000 rupees. 
again this is subjective because uh, ice cars as they go deep into the ownership they will have much more uh, maintenance cost than 7000 rupees but i am just considering 7000 uh, and then a bunch of uh, uh, running costs from year 1 to year 10 you can see, uh, so I'm multiplying all these. Uh, I I'm calculating basically uh, the running cost. You have seen it in the AI generated episode as well. So for the first year, it is 1,44,700 for the ICE car and for EV, it is 9,000. And as you go on, you can see that uh, uh, in the year 10, to run these many kilometers, it will take 2.24 lakhs for ICE car, whereas for EV, uh, it is 13,000. So, it has increased from 9,000 to just 13,000. So, uh, that is the cost. Um, then, there is the total running cost. So, the total running cost is 18.2 lakhs and uh, for ICE car and for EV, it is uh, 1.13 lakhs. And the actual cost of the car, which is adding the running cost, the uh, the buying cost and subtracting the resale value for uh, the ICE car, the, the TCO, uh, the TCO is uh, 29.2 lakhs and for the EV it is 19.63 lakhs. So, this is the TCO of ICE versus EV uh, for 10 years uh, with all these parameters. Now, now comes the questions. Let's say you have the ICE car today, uh, which is costing 15 lakh rupees, and you sell it on day one or, or, or the year one, if you want, if you are selling it and switch over to the EV, then I am uh, I'm considering that the, the 15 lakh rupees car, uh, when you sell it, uh, in the year one, it will at least fetch you 10 lakh rupees, which is a very safe uh, resale value. So, you lose 5 lakh rupees. So, that is what I have mentioned here as depreciation loss now, or it is not really now, I will say depreciation loss in year one is 5 lakh rupees. So, incurred, so you have incurred uh, a 5 lakh rupees of cost if you switch to EV today, right. And the the TCO the TCO of the uh, EV car after selling the petrol car is 19.63 plus 5 lakh which is 24.63 lakhs and if you compare that to the TCO if you had not sold the ICE car it is 29.2 lakhs. So, if you subtract these two you still gain about 4.56 lakhs if if you sold the ice car uh, today and switch to ev with the solar panels you still gain about 4.56 lakhs again i'm making this episode for those of you who are staying in independent houses who have space in the terrace to install solar panels and generate electricity the electricity generated is not just for your car because you will have surplus left to even power your house and that is one thing that i wanted to say before proceeding now, I know some of you will say uh, some things like you do not have uh, a daily running of uh, 50 kilometers and you know this much kilometers you do not have. So, let us see somebody who is running it for 30 kilometers a day, then let us see how the things change. So, if I put, put it as 30 kilometers per day with the 2000 kilometers of long drives uh, in a year. Then you see here the, the total cost saved. Actually, you are not saving. You will make a loss of 1.67 lakhs. So, the, the TCO of ICE car is, is 22.95. And if you sell that ICE car for this kind of usage, like you are running 30 kilometers per day, uh, then your TCO is slightly higher, 24.63 kilometers. So, if your daily running is 30 kilometers, then do not sell your ICE car, keep it uh, as long as it runs and uh, maybe you can switch to EV later uh, if you want. So, for this use case, it does not make sense. So, let us see at what point uh, the, it breaks even. Uh, let me enter this as 40 kilometers. 
So for 40 kilometers of usage, you still uh, gain 1.44 lakhs. So let me try um, something like 35, 35 kilometers. So around around 35 kilometers uh, is the sort of a breaking point. So uh, it is not zero, but it is 11,000 here. Uh, so if you are running, actually let me do it uh, uh, even let's say 36 kilometers yeah so somewhere around 35 i don't want to get the exact number but you know what what i'm trying to say so if your daily running is anything less than let's say 35 kilometers then this scenario of selling the ice car and going for an ev with solar panel um, doesn't uh, make sense for you only if you do more than 35 kilometers, 36 kilometers a day with this kind of a use case, then uh, you will gain more. Now, let, let me flip it. Let's say you, you are somebody who runs 70 kilometers a day and then you have many more long trips. Let me put it as like, um, I don't know, 5,000 kilometers of long trips in an year. How does it work? So, you can see here, now you say 12 lakh. 43,000 rupees if you do this use case. The TCO is 38 lakhs if you did this kind of a usage with the, just the ICE car. But if you sold the ICE car and switched to EV, then the, the TCO is 25.57 uh, lakhs considering the depreciation cost. So that's what uh, I wanted to cover uh, in today's episode. Selling your ICE car and switching to EV. Uh, would make sense for some of you if your use case is more than 35 kilometers a day with the occasional long drives of uh, about 2000 kilometers. But if you do less than that, then stick to your ICE car or whatever car you have. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's it guys. Uh, I hope you like this episode. Thank you very much for watching. See you again in other episodes of Green and Clean YouTube channel. Thank you.